Lovable is probably my favorite AI app builder. Now, if I want to build something more complex, I'm going to opt for a tool such as Cursor. But if I just want something quick and simple and I don't want to get too in the weeds with all of the code, Lovable is a great place to start. And there are some really useful features which are not super obvious, so I'll share those with you today. And number three actually addresses one of the top concerns that people have with vibe coding in general. So let's jump in. So Lovable has created this initial page for us, and the first feature I want to show you is the edit mode. Now, you can actually directly modify parts of your page with this. So for example, if I want to change this number, I can go ahead and make those direct modifications here. Additionally, you can make direct changes to the spacing and the styles of various components. So here, if I want to add more spacing above and below the title, I can do that directly. And I could even modify the styles over here to make the font larger. This allows you to make a bunch of these changes without using lovable credits. So I'm going to hit save and that's going to go ahead and be reflected in my app. And now my app is updated. You can also actually point to specific things and then make a request within the chat here. This way lovable will know what you're actually talking about. Now the next hidden feature is super versatile and to get it, you go to settings. And on the main project settings page, you scroll down a bit and you'll see over here, Remix Project. This will allow you to duplicate the app into a new project. Now, why do I say this is versatile? Because first of all, it allows you to copy different apps. So if somebody's published a public version of an app, you can use it as a good starting point. But more importantly, you can use it as a saving point for your own app. So let's say I wanna experiment with this page but I don't want to lose my progress. I don't want to have to roll back and get the chat all messy. I'm just going to go ahead and remix it. And in here, you can choose whether you're going to include the project history or the chat or not. This actually allows you to reset the context in Lovable, which you otherwise can't really do. So I'm going to go ahead and remix without the project history. And now I have a snapshot of my app that I can always go back to. So now I can just go back to the original and continue the chat, but I'll always be able to go back to this version. So it's really useful in terms of saving your app, resetting the context, and being able to create a new starting point for other apps. And what I mean by that is, let's say you built out a whole Supabase integration and authentication and payments and all this stuff, you don't have to do that for every single app. You can just create a baseline and then use that remix feature to then have a starting point with all of that stuff already implemented. Okay, but let's say you did implement all of that sensitive stuff, logins, a database. How do you make sure all of that stuff is safe, right? That's where this new lovable feature really comes into play. And that feature is the security review. And you can reach it by going to publish and down here, you'll see the security review. So click on that and it'll take you to the settings in the security center. And you'll wanna click this additional security review. That's going to start it over here in the chat. Now, I have to be honest, this is a good starting point, but it's sort of the equivalent of copying your code into ChatGPT and just saying, look for security issues. It's definitely better than nothing, but it's not doing a super comprehensive check. So here it went through the app, everything looks good because this is a pretty simple page. But if you have a bigger project and you really wanna make sure you're catching as much as possible, you should check out my product VibeScan. I created it specifically for non-technical founders looking to launch their product. It's gonna go through all of your files, look for security, performance, code quality issues, and through a thorough launch checklist to make sure that your exact app is ready to launch. Check out the link in the description and enter Volo20 at checkout for a 20% discount. All right, on to the next feature. So let's say my app is ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and publish it. And the next feature I wanna show you is this page speed analysis. This evaluates the performance and accessibility of your app and gives you some recommendations on things you might wanna improve. So in this case, it looks like we got a pretty good score, but I'm gonna go to accessibility and they actually have a try to fix directly in the app here. So I'll go ahead and click on that. 
This is another feature that takes Lovable beyond simply building stuff and gives you more of the full package. Okay, so it's improved the color contrast, so the website is more accessible now. I'll go ahead and update it. And now I think it's in a pretty good place. Now the final feature that I wanna show you is a little bit more advanced, but super useful. And it has to do with the fact that Lovable actually uses a GitHub repository behind the scenes to store all of your code. If you're not familiar, think of GitHub as like a Google Docs for code. So you can click this button over here and connect to your GitHub account. And if you haven't connected your account here, you'll do that first, but then you can also connect the project. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this project to my GitHub account, which will allow me to access all of the code for this app. Now I can see the code right here. So if I go to this page, we can see all of the code. And the coolest thing about this is that I can actually make changes to the code in an app like Cursor and then commit those changes and they'll actually be reflected and lovable. So if you're using Lovable as a hosting platform that's actually serving your app, you can continue to make more advanced changes in a more advanced application like Cursor, and then those changes will get pushed out into Lovable. So it can be a great way to modify code outside of Lovable and also to share your code with others. Although you can actually also do that within Lovable. So they actually have this invite feature. So you can actually invite people directly in here. But I got one more quick bonus feature for you, which is just this simple button right here, which allows you to see your app as if it were on a tablet or a phone. And it can be really easy to miss, but it's a super important thing because you can sometimes see if there are some spacing issues or something doesn't look quite right. So definitely check this out and make sure your app looks good in any device. If you like Lovable, check out this video to see how you can use it to build a more advanced full stack application. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Take care.